Hi everybody, uh, I had to post this video now because I'm having a lot of difficulty writing and and thinking. <laughs> but I wanted to say thank you to all of you who donated and to all of you who left comments that were so kind and supportive. Thank you. I will be, because I want to personally thank all of you, but please be patient. I am facing limitations now that no, I never thought that I would face. And um, remember when, if you heard the excerpt that I posted, Deborah Tavares? on the Common Sense show. She's saying that Americans will have more and more difficulty thinking. She's right. The ultra-low frequencies that I've been seeing, I used to see them in Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, and boy, it was every night. They were blasted. I'm not seeing them there so much. Texas, you're being pummeled. Houston, pummeled. Uh, the eastern half, the frequencies that I'm seeing up north, I think, is related to weather. And so, I think it's true for the south. But, what I'm seeing in the southeast, really, like Louisiana, well, Oklahoma, too, uh, Tennessee, but Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, West, North Carolina, pummeled. Florida, Sometimes it's around Naples, um, Jacksonville, but that's more intermittent. South Carolina, every single night, the ultra-low frequency is coming right into Anderson. And I see now these beam attacks, one going into Anderson, the other one north, the other one south. Houston, you've got something shooting off into Austin. So, and yes, I've been hearing a kind of different tone of buzzing, the high-pitched tones. Look, what I've been experiencing, well, I do think some of it is related to frequency, but stress and frustration, it's when you can't, when it's chronic. And the sleep deprivation, my God, all of it does a real number on your brain. Many people have said, you know, your brain's fine. Uh, because I'm posting videos and they think that, you know, what they hear is better than the average. I don't compare myself to other people, I compare myself to me. And uh, things are happening. But you can post videos, you can sound fine, and not be. And you can post videos and sound like your thinking is absolutely fine, and it's not. I've been doing this pretty much my entire adult life. Research, and then communica communicate the information back. And yeah, I'm definitely less capable, but I can still do it. Doesn't mean that I can think in every other area of life. 
when you've done something over and over and over again, pretty much your entire life on a daily basis, it's kind of rote. And what I've experienced and uh, well, let's just say that I'm facing limitations I just never, ever thought I would ever face. And, you know, a lot of people are suffering the consequences now of what is taking place. And until you experience it, you don't know what it's like. And I am it's uh, makes life a real challenge. When I think about all of the people now, their home's gone, whether it's fire or flood or whatever, so many don't recover. And you don't hear from them. It's a lot of you, your life just radically changes and if you can't get it back, you lose a lot of who you were. And it is an experience that does cause a lot of shame, especially in this country. So you don't hear from them. And one of the reasons why I've hung on it's because I wanted to be that voice. They become so marginalized. You know, in many ways, life is for the comfortable. Because that's who you hear from. And I did want to speak. Um, it's hard, not fun, admitting any of this, but it makes this war real. And it is very real for millions upon millions who have already faced shit hits the fan. And they may just be carrying this boiling frog scenario. Though it's really boiling now. Um, they may just continue to dump people over the edge and the comfortable will still be talking and thinking when is the shit going to hit the fan? And they're just not even noticing it hitting the fan every single day. So, I, uh, yeah, it is very real. This war is no joke. No joke. And for all of you who've left comments talking about how you're not sure how you're going to continue, or those who have said your functioning is now at a level that really scares you, I understand. I know. <laughs> I know. I know what it's like. And it is scary, especially for those of you who are alone. Um, it certainly it starts you thinking in ways that you're looking at a future that you never thought that you would be living but you have to wonder how you're going to do it. I understand. And I wish I could give you an answer. All I can say is I wish you didn't have to live it. No one should ever have to live this. But we are living it. It's very real. 
And for those of you who are still comfortable, perhaps subconsciously thinking it's not going to happen to you, I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't, but it has happened happened to many of my subscribers now and it's not fun but I just want to end this I didn't want to I don't want it to be long I just wanted to say thank you so much I really appreciate it and I will you will hear from me personally, but <laughs> please just give me a little bit of time. I'll talk to you soon.